So I just want to try and demonstrate the, uh, the modulating effect of the, and the pressure reducing valve effect of the metering stem and spring uh, by comparing uh, this type of valve to just an on-off uh, gate valve or a, a very basic control valve. So I'm just going to do that here at this airline, um, this air supply, it's got a gate valve on it and I've just put a, a gauge in here. Um, with the gate valve closed, I'm going to start off here with the uh, gauge at zero. And uh, I'm going to try and modulate some pressure here. The shop air pressure is 105 PSI. This gauge goes to 100, so I might pin the needle here a little bit. But we'll see how this works out. I'm just going to open the, the, the gate valve very briefly. I'll try and set maybe uh, 30 or 40 PSI on the valve. And, you know, as fast as I could close it, you know, the needle shot up almost to full air pressure, almost to full 100 PSI. So if I was using a valve like this to control pilot pressure flowing to a valve like this to operate it, I'm going to have a big problem because when I let off the control handle, I'm going to have, you know, pretty much full pilot pressure sent here. The spool is going to stay shifted and, you know, whatever this work port's feeding is going to want to keep going. And if that's raising the boom or something, I'm not going to be able to stop it because when I shut off the valve, not only could I not control the pressure very well, when I shut it off, I trap the, I trap the medium in there, in this case air, in the, or if it was oil, uh, and I got no way of stopping it or getting the, I've got to uncouple this to get the air out of there. So that's not, that type of valve, if that was what was built into a, a, a pilot valve like this, that certainly wouldn't work very well. So what I've got here now, I'm going to send my air pressure in the P port on the uh, pilot control valve and then on one of the pilot lines coming out, the one operated by this plunger, uh, I put the gauge in there. So when I feed the air pressure in, you hear a little bit of hissing. This is a closed center valve, obviously it's got a little bit of internal leakage probably from P to T. And I suspect that's intentional, a tiny bit of flow through the valve even though it's technically closed center. That's just going to warm up the controls, especially in winter weather. You, if, you, if this is closed center valve, you get small hoses running around the machine and no oil flowing, you're going to have thick molasses like oil in cold weather. So they put a little bit from P to T, but again, this is still a closed center valve. And if I operate any of the open plungers, it's sending air out. This one, or this one, or the one at the bottom. But if I send it to the one with the gauge, you can see now I can vary my hand movement. I can very accurately control the pressure. So I can, if I want to build 30 PSI, I can just move my hand a little bit until the pressure in the gauge is 30 PSI. That 30 PSI pressure is pushing back on the metering stem against the metering spring and closing the valve back off and just maintaining that downstream pressure of 30 PSI. So this is where it's like a pressure reducing valve. I can set 40, I can set 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, um, right up to full pressure. And every time I let off, that's when you hear a shot coming out the tank connection because, again, these work ports are open to tank. Uh, so when I let off, uh, when I let off, they're open to tank. So when I let off, whatever air is in the board on tube of this gauge, you know, is exhausting back out and out the tank port. And that's the same thing that would happen every time you take your hand off the control if it's feeding a pilot control. The centering springs would be pushing the control valve back to the hold position and exhausting whatever oil was in the cap here back up the hose through the work port and then out the tank port. So the only time you really get oil flowing out the tank from this valve is when you're letting go of control handles. That's when you get the centering spring doing its job and pushing some oil out. But that drain is important. That drain has to happen. Again, if this valve is 50 feet away from the cab, you know, that centering spring's got a bit of work to do to push that oil all the way through that line, especially in cold weather. And, and in cold weather, warming up the hydraulic system of a pilot operated machine is important because if you've got cold, thick oil in your pilot lines and you operate a function, then you let go of the control handle. That, Centering spring may not be able to push that thick molasses oil all the way back to the cab and through the control fast enough. And you might get an implement that doesn't really want to stop in cold weather until, you know, that 
centering spring can finally push that molasses up through the line.